In this video, I'm just going to discuss the notation that's going to be used in the statistics portion of this course. Now, we, we switched gears now. We were doing probability theory, and that's where we had a probability distribution. Maybe it was discrete, like a Poisson or a binomial distribution, or maybe it's continuous, uh, like an exponential or a normal distribution. Now, we're still going to work with those distributions, but the goal here is going to pin down exactly what the distribution looks like. Um, specifically, in statistics, we're usually concerned with the parameters of the underlying distribution. So we're going to start off the or start off this section of the course with parameter estimation. That's really the foundation of most statistic techniques. But first here I want to talk to you about the notation that we're going to use. It's going to be pretty consistent. There's a lot of different letters floating around. So first thing I want to state, let me use this larger pen size here, is I want to make n observations. And by observations, um, that's the same thing as a trial. What it means is I have some kind of random variable. And I'm going to look at n quantities from it. Maybe I'm measuring the blood pr pressure for a certain type of um, medical patient. Maybe I'm measuring the birth, birth rate for a certain type of population. So the observations in that case would be um, how many births there were per unit of time. Okay. I'm going to do n observations in my random variable, and I'm going to name these. Uh, there's two different things that they might be called. When I do this little sort of curly x, that's my lowercase x. Uh, we use both lowercase and uppercase in here, and they mean slightly different things. And I'm going to use that notation if they're fixed. And what I mean by that is if I'm thinking about having in observations and, I, and um, those quantities I don't want to change. I don't want to think of them as variables. If I do want to think of them as variables, then I'm going to use capital X's. And that's to emphasize that they're random variables. because I can either have an experiment run and then get the results, that's my in observations, or I can think theoretically, if I get in observations, what am I going to do with them? If I'm doing it more theoretically and don't assume that I actually have numbers there, then I'm going to use this, uh, these capital letters. So in statistics, we make our n observations, and that's what's called the sample. And the sample is an attempt to character, or we use the sample as an attempt to characterize the population. We've got this mysterious population over here. And sometimes it can be very concrete. It can be all the students, uh, maybe all the high school students in the United States. Sometimes it's sort of um, abstract, and that is all the different people that might take your exam, all those situations. And we'll talk about that abstract notion of population or when we get to hypothesis testing. But our sample is just our n observations. That's our sample. And what we're trying to do is off of those n observations we're trying to make conclusions about a larger group. Maybe it's what will happen in the future. Maybe it's what has happened or what is currently happening um, in a larger group than your sample. When we use a sam when we um, talk about our sample, we use our regular letters. For example, capital X bar or lowercase x bar. That's referring to the mean. Okay. Whereas in our population, mu refers to the mean. So I use my regular is it Arabic letters. I'm not for sure over here, and then um, on the population, I'm using Greek letters. Now for standard deviation. We use S, and that's a lowercase s for the sample, and then we use sigma for the population. So again, I have my usual letter over here and a Greek letter for the population. And then for the variance, I have S squared and sigma squared. Okay, so that's it for this video. Just wanted to show you what kind of notation was coming, and I encourage you to refer back to this video if you get a little bit lost in what all these different letters mean.